Hi there, it's Mare. I have a journal to share with you. Going to do a quick flip through of this journal. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. I would really appreciate that. Okay, going to try to make this quick. Let's do the stats first. It is approximately nine by five, so it's a little more narrow than what I'm um, my other a lot of my other journals. It has roughly uh, 76, 80 pages front to back. Um, it is just jammed with <laughs> new and original ephemera, which um, some of you know. I'm just starting to purge out some of my original ephemera and put them in my journals, and it is. Super chunky, like all my journals, and it's got lots of bling, grungy, 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 patchy, scrappy, tattered, and this I put on the outside. I just really love that from my last journal, and I did make this other charm here, and lots and lots of beads. Just tried to pick out some ones that looked vintage, a little antique looking, and the back and we'll get to that in a minute so the outside has a 3d this is an original photograph that I've used with some sewing and you open that up and it's got a flip up here and lots of little paper for journaling and notes another original photograph here and some grunged up stuff and laces some vintage laces and this is a new flower that I've made look vintage and antique. There is a key and a stamped piece of muslin here that says story. This is, it has, um, has some writing on it here. This is an original vintage skeleton key. And this is, there's a bag back here that I've made this, caught this uh, tag. I'm just put it back in here. Okay, squeeze in there. There we go. Okay, let's open this up. Just some tea dyed muslin for the closure. And yes, it fans out a lot. Now the story, the theme, because I like to do that with, just for fun with my journal. So I imagined these ladies here, I just have a, um, I just love the 1800s and early 1900s. So this has some beautiful ladies up here and I love the way they dressed, and some more there as well. And I just thought, you know, I'm gonna choose one of these ladies and <laughs> and just do like a family-oriented, just fun, some journal that she might have done, one of the ladies. Okay, the inside here, we have some grungy paper that I've sewn, did some, uh, some modeling paste here. There is a little, little bit of a, a pocket here that I've just put this tag in here. Be a great place to put a little note or something. Made this here. It's all ripped up from one of my master boards. Added some metal. I love adding metal. I love adding, you know, a feminine touch to my grungy stuff. Made this envelope here with just some little tickets in it. I am going to leave a lot of surprises. I've used a lot of gesso in this as well. Lots of inks little handmade tag and one of Sam Poole Designs Digitals that I have backed on some very, very um, pretty textured paper. This side, here is a, a frame here that you could slide in a picture. Put some flowers up here. I tattered this lace here. It's sheer and I, I just really love this. And I believe that was a newer one that I made to, to look old. If I've used any digitals in here, I think very little. And if I did, I will be sure to give credit to whose they were, if I can remember. But I will put it in the description box of this video. Some vintage buttons here that I've put on some muslin and a piece of this vintage tablecloth here. Ruffles, little applique. I love how this... Some of my coffee dyed paper with the white in there. I do, like always, support my spine with Tyvek and muslin, and I also support my pages because I do heavily embellish. There is a vintage doily. This is an original postcard from the 1800s. 
Here's some fabric, a little candle wicking here. Let me make sure I'm in frame. And it just flips up a little bit with a card here that I've used as a tuck. That is a piece of a vintage music book, I believe. Just put some of this um, tablecloth ripped up here, some crazy stitching there, and just happened to do lines and some of my coffee dyed paper made this ruffle here. This is a vintage postcard. And it just tucks in there. Added this here, this banner. This is actually from a end of a end of a tablecloth. He made this pocket here from different pieces of lace and tablecloth and vintage doily pieces. Put a tag in here. I made that. And put some lines on the back. And this first pocket is just a copy of a vintage library card. This one, Emily Bronte. Now I can get it back in the pocket. <laughs> here, let's do that. We'll do that one first. And then this one goes here. I made these pockets out of recycled little um, packaging bags. Put some, another journaling card here and a label that can be placed anywhere. Made a pocket on this. This one has a flip too. More of that modeling paste stenciling that I've done on some vintage paper here. And this is an original vintage postcard. Ah, let me get it in here. There we go. I put a pocket on that side too, just a little ticket. This is um, a copy of a diary. It's a digital, and I will leave the info for that if you're interested. This is a plumbing and gas fitting receipt from 1902. And that is the original. Gotta open up that pocket, and that goes in there. And then this whole thing flips open like this. I didn't want to, you know, cover up so much of the writing space, just to leave as much as I can. Some tickets, a little, little saying on there, some stenciling here. This flips up, little um, rusted safety pin here, little tuck in here. This is one of those little matchbook things. This one happens to be Book of Secrets. And you open it up and there's little papers here that can be used. And I just tuck that back in there. This is a poem from a, a digital of scrapbooking stuff and it's just really, just really neat, very vintage looking, I should say. And I just tucked that like that. This one is a book that I made. Now this reading lady here, just thought it was super pretty. And here I've tied up with some jute, another little card. This does, I believe, have, yeah, it has a little pocket here. Now I put something in there, a little secret something. Just for a reminder, I'm gonna stick this in there. And this flips up. This did a lot of collaging, added some gesso for some writing. Here's another vintage receipt. This is from 1897 from Reading of Pennsylvania. Yeah, let me, okay, hold on, let me, there we go. Had to fix something there. Put a little journal tuck there. These are some of those uh, tissue paper flowers that I made in another video, center of that signature. This flips up like that. Here's a little library card, little sticker that can be used. Put a piece of metal here for this salt box house. Put these just to, for reinforcement, and I loved how I just tore it, and it has that real grungy look. Lots of collaging here, and left that as my focal point, this really pretty girl. And on this other side here, these are some of the old um, flashcards that I used to make these little tag books and things, and I just added, wanted to add one to this journal. Here's another one of those um, pictures from Sam Poole that I um, printed out on cardstock. A cluster here. 
that flips open. Here's another tag that I made and backed with some coffee stained paper. Put that in a little pocket, little tag. This definitely can be written on. Some very old paper here, old music paper. A lot of the things that I used were very vintage. Um, some of it really fragile, so I could only collage with it, but I just really like how that turned out. Just tied some pinkish brownish colored ribbon here and on this clip that I've rusted in a, in a rusted bow charm. This is a little booklet here. I've added this picture. This is printed on canvas. Some really pretty newer lace and some creepy cloth up there. And this opens up and there's some little goodies in that, a little tuck, a little um, charm here, another area for journaling that can be lifted and journaled on that, and lots of gesso. And then here I just pinned another one of those cards. They had lace. Here's a vintage doily here. Let me get rid of that piece. And a little piece up here that goes with it. This is from 1897, and it is a short letter. And I'm going to clip that back on later, just for time's sake. This I used from a very vintage book that I own and um, I've been taking apart and I just love these illustrations here. It's about sisters and I just really thought that was pretty and I added some avocado dyed paper on that for some writing. This flips up, rusted double paper clip there. Some pretty trim here. Did a lot of decoupage there. Added this little, this is a little, some of those tiles that I make, and that says remember on it, and I just thought it goes great with this page that flips open. And here in the center, I've clipped on, which you could move anywhere, just undo the bulb clip, and I did these little trims, just put some beading on here with this little pearl trim, and I just thought that looked super pretty laying in the book. This could be a little tuck up here for something. Here's a piece of that candle wicking fabric, and I altered this clip, and I did a lot of collaging on that coffee dyed paper. On this side, I added a long charm and a chain, and a little tuck here. I made this tag here with some lines in the back, and this is really special, and I will let whoever gets this read it. I believe it's from 1913. I think that's what the postmark said. Yep, 1913. And there's a letter with the original original envelope with it. And I am including that. And I will get that all done. I loved this. This is a picture of this lovely lady in her garden. And I, I believe this is a copy of this photograph. And here is a card of some wildflowers and some very old from a, a magazine, a very old magazine here, and some old ledger paper there. This side here is a little picture of this teapot here, a little flower, some vintage paper here, and another tuck on this side with just some ephemera. This is an original from 1925. I did back it with some older paper only because it was so brittle and so fragile. I didn't want it to crumble in somebody's hand. Some eyelet trim there in a, in a kind of a mauvey brown. Made this pocket here with an original um, photograph. Here's a, I think it's called flinch, flinch card. Added a little area there that can be journaled on. Did some more of that um, stenciling and a little, little heart locket with a key on this. And here's one of the images from that from the old book that I have. I did back it with some muslin, and I just love it. I think it's a beautiful picture. And here's just a little crystal. Whoops. Let's make sure you saw that. Got to keep remembering to look ahead so I can see if I'm in frame or not. And this just opens up. This was part of a card that I took out, and there's area left there for journaling. Some more... Um, collaging that I did, copy of a vintage check, a little um, little bling there, and uh, covered this envelope inside and out, and I just love how it feels. And this has 
a poem in it that I wanted to include. And there's some more collaging that I've done. Just covered this, um, this little sleeve, this little window envelope and added gesso, did lots of coloring with different inks. There is an original photo in there. It can be taken out and there's a cute little background to it. So you don't have to feel like you have to leave that in there. This is another original photo from an old scrapbook. If you can see the pages were black, so you, that's why that's on there. And there's a little rusted bell, a little flip fabric flip up there. This was from a junk mail envelope that I've collaged, did lots of inking and some model paste stenciling, very old ledger from 1928, very old book page. And there is a copy of a Peterson magazine from 1877, but it does open so you could, whoever gets this would be able to put, I even backed some of it just to stabilize it more. And just, you'd be able to put, oh, let me do that right. You'd be able to put your own photo in there. Just an area here on this vintage um, like newspaper. It has a almost a shininess to it. So I coffee dyed it, used some clear gesso on it as well. Did some collaging on this piece of old ledger. This really cute like Victorian bag. I put a, um, an old postcard in there, an original. Lots of different trims, lots of collaging. Where you can have a little tuck there add a little something. I just made this little side tuck and this is from 1903. It is uh, looks like from steam engines but it's it's an original receipt. And here I've made this booklet, booklet here. I made a pocket and I put this rusted pin on it and it says whispers of the heart. And this is just a very plain and very basic with a, just a little flower on it and no pockets, but I used lots of collaging of very old things and lots of different papers in it. Here, one piece of stuff in there. Just little pieces of paper, different papers, and I thought it would be fun to include. And there's the back. And I will tie that up and make sure it goes back in that pocket. And here's just a copy of a little diary page and this beautiful little picture that says the love letter on it. Area here for journaling and I've done some flower collaging there. Little bunny here and you can twist that around. This folds down. And here's a little pocket. I've done another one of those tie-on things. This fun little pom-pom trim here in collage with a vintage button, a tag and a journaling card on some very old ledger paper from 1907. And that just flips up like here. This is a side tuck. And I think I'm gonna put that original photograph in there. And that's, I just love the way that that lays and how that looks. And this side tuck here, we're gonna put an old photograph in here and I will stick another journaling card in there. Here's an index card that I've coffee dyed. This is a flower that I've made with a vintage button in the center and a little flip. And I did put some pieces of coffee dyed paper in there as well so it could be written on. Here's a little heart that I made and did some sewing, vintage book page and this is a copy of a vintage photo here that I've included with this altered paper click. Here is another vintage photo here. I believe it's a copy. And lots of collaging on this book page with some gesso so it could be written on. It's this beautiful penmanship up here. There's some pretty washi tape and some laces there. And this is a very natural textured paper. And here I've used that Tim Holtz wallpaper, put some gesso on it, made this pocket with a copy of this vintage postcard that I own. And here is a part of that book and it's a cute little poem and I just loved it and wanted to include that. Here's just a little, a little black clay rose bead that I've included, some avocado, piece of avocado paper there and did some decoupage on this old book page and on this as well and made a side tuck pocket thingy. And this is another 
vintage original 1897 receipt. Just tuck that in there. And just some tags here that can be written on with a little tab. The other part of that um, index card, a fabric flip with a bead, an original postcard from 1913. And it just has a little, I thought it was sweet, a dear mother note on the back. Made this pocket with a couple little things that you can use in the journal. And this is just another page here with an area for journaling. Another one of those cards. This is a piece of ledger from 1908, and it just folds like this with areas for writing. Made this heart here so it'd be easy as a tab to turn. A little envelope with a couple of things in it. Oh, I wonder where my charm, I'll have to add the other charm to that. Made this little tuck here, another pocket here with another tag. And this is the back, which I showed in the beginning with a little area, a little secret tuck here. I just put a little piece of coffee dyed paper with a little design on it. That'd be cute to stash a little note. So I hope you like it. And again, this is the side view. And I just love the way it turned out and I hope you did too. And you can check for availability in my Etsy shop, which is Lilac Pages. I will leave that link in the description box below. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.